okay so hey everyone today we are going to start and record how we can set up C++ in Windows 10 operating system so let's get started first of all open your favorite browser and then search for MinGW once you search you will get the first link and that is from sourceforge.net so click on the sourceforge.net here you can see MinGW minimal GNU windows so you can see a green button of download and uh, while scrolling downwards you can see the pictures or the screenshots of installation wizard so just click on the download a small counter will open with a timer of 5 seconds wait for that and you can see the MinGW exe setup is getting downloaded in your windows operating system you can check it in your downloads directory of Chrome, Chrome or you can check it in your file explorers download directory. So here I have open and you can see the download directory and you can see the MinGW setup exe is there. Okay, so I am going to copy this exe file and uh, I am going to paste it in my uh, default directory that's a D G directory and I have created a apps folder where I will store all my application it's just for better management so if you want you can do that then after what we want to do just double click on that and you can see a wizard or installation wizard is open so with Windows M minimize all other windows and just click on the continue meanwhile you can see the location where all the files are going to store is shown here so once you hit on install it is going to download the installation tools that are required for downloading the C++ compiler so it will take some time depending on your internet speed once setup is completed hit on the continue button and now this is the compiler or the all the tools here you can see and from here we can install the tools one by one so click on the checkbox and just right click on it and select make as selected so you can see I can click on one of it and you can see make for installation okay so I am going to select all the compilers because I don't know if may I need in future for Fortran and other compilers so I'm just going to install but if you want to specific for C++ you can just install this G++ GNC G++ compiler then in installation menu click on the apply changes here you can see apply changes window is open and here you just need to click on the apply button so once you hit on the apply button you can see all the binaries for C++ is getting installed so it's also again task of downloading and extracting and installing so let it be download and we will wait unless and until it will finishes so the the software is installed so one thing you can do just click on this tick or check this checkbox so once it will uh, extract all the files your setup wizard will be automatically closed or extraction wizard will automatically closed okay so let's wait until it will extract all the binary or required files so setup is installed successfully and you can see here all the compilers are in green so let's start the next process or next step so right now we have installed the setup but one most important thing we need to set up environment variable so go in your explorer uh, on this PC and right click and go in properties and here in advanced setting advanced system setting you can see environment variables and there you can see the two types so here in system variable type okay so for that you can see in your C directory there is folder called mingw is created and in the directory there is folder called binary or bin so copy the path of c slash mingw slash bin and come in your environmental variables full uh, wizard so here you can either create a new type of uh, 
environmental variable totally or you can edit existing one so you can see here is the path variable and go on path variable select it and click on edit so here click on new and paste the path that you have copied for the binaries of C++ ok so click on the ok and click on ok again ok for this wizard as well ok so right now we have set up all things successfully so we can see it's C++ compiler working right so open your command prompt by just searching for CMD and type G++ space hyphen hyphen version and click on the enter so you can see the G++ version 6.3.0 uh, is installed in my system successfully right so we can run any kind of C programs right now so our next thing is we need to go and install Visual Studio Code so go in your browser and search for Visual Studio Code here the first link will come from the code.visualstudio.com and just click on that link after clicking here you can see the landing page of Visual Studio Code's website and it's by Microsoft and you can see here it has a IntelliSense run and debug integrated git and so many extensions you can go through and look over the landing page here the big download button so you can see visual studio code is available for mac os windows as well as linux systems so i am just going to click on the download it will by default detect your operating system and starting the downloaded file so you can see visual studio code setup file is getting downloaded I am right now pausing it because I have already downloaded the Visual Studio code in my applications folder in my G, diary, uh, G drive. You can see in apps Visual Studio code is already there. So let's go in our apps folder. Double click on the Visual Studio code icon. So it will open up an installation wizard so first of all this is the license terms and condition if you want you can read just accept that license terms and condition and click on the next this is the default path where uh, all the programs of visual studio codes are going to be extracted or unzipped just click on the next so it shows me this because I have previously installed so it it is going to keep the settings so click on the next here just select create a desktop icon add open code uh, in your context menu and uh, add visual studio code as a environment variable so we can use via cmd and all other terminals in your system so click on the next it will start the installation of your visual studio code so wait some moments until the visual studio code is going to install so desktop icon occur and just uh, you can click on the finish it will launch visual studio code or you can uncheck that so it won't launch so you can see I have checked that checkbox so visual studio code is launched by default so I am going to just close that let's create a new folder I am going to create it on my desktop okay give the name the folder at C++ whatever you want you can give the name so by double clicking on the C++ folder I am in the C++ folder first of all second thing right click and in context menu you can start open with code so visual studio code is going to open on in this specific folder or the directory so yes select yes I can I trust on this folder so okay so you can see this is the default layout and theme of visual studio code this is the extension tab of visual studio code where you can install various extension for C and C++ please install this C slash C++ extension I have already installed and you can install the code runner extension as well in your Visual Studio code okay so in setting let's change few settings that are important so on settings icon this wizard will open you can create the settings for user as well as workspaces so I am going to change the settings for user right now we will see workspace concept in the future so you can search for a run there are so many settings for a run you can see here okay so it's hard to find with run so I am going to search for run in terminal okay 
so while scrolling a little bit i can see run in terminal and i am going to tick the checkbox of run in terminal what it will does it will just uh, create a button on the right hand corner and uh, when we click on that button it will run our code or source code in default folder so go in your explorer and create a new file by clicking on the new file icon that i am going to name it main.cpp okay so we are going to create our first c++ program in this file so i am going to write hash include uh, open and close angle brackets io stream here i am going to use using namespace std and semicolon we are going to see what exactly this means in further videos of c++ but just for now write it as it is so int main open and close curly braces and here you can okay return as zero so we are if the function runs successfully we are going to return zero okay then uh, first of all c out double uh, less than bracket or you whatever you can see that so i am going to print the statement hello world or let's print the statement hello coders let's change the tradition so okay this is the our source code right this is our source file this is the file which we can read so right now we need to convert this file in machine understandable code that is exe file right so let's do that and for that we need our compiler so go in your terminal so you can see right now i am in my c users akshay folder okay so i need to navigate to this c++ folder so for that let's find what are all the folders here so click on uh, enter dir command you can see these are all the folders in my akshay folder okay so here there is one folder that is desktop right and in the desktop the c++ folder is there so uh, i am going to click uh, i am going to run cd space desktop so right now i am in my desktop folder so while entering dir and pressing enter i can see all the folders in desktop and you can see the c++ folder there so cd space c++ uh, by clicking on the by hitting the tab button uh, this will auto complete okay so right now we are in our c++ directory so here i am going to run this command g++ and uh, whatever is our file name okay you can use a uh, uh, sla uh, dash o or hyphen o so let's see we will see that later so right now enter the command g++ dot main dot cpp so what it will do it will take our source file and convert it to exe file a dot exe file okay so it's machine understandable code so you can see in our file explorer initially we have only main dot cpp file that we have created and wrote so right now you can see a dot exe file there as well okay so it's machine understandable and we can uh, run this file this is our executable file so i am hitting a dot exe and you can see hello coders there so what it means just our c++ program executed successfully so hooray so in this way we can uh, set up the c++ compiler and visual studio code and we can run our first c++ program uh, so this is for all and uh, if you have any question related to it please feel free to ask the question in the comment section below and uh, share subscribe and like we will meet in the next lecture till then happy coding